So you have nothing specifically wrong, no symptoms or diseases that you're necessarily working on. If you're wanting to take hyperbaric for a spin, how many sessions should you actually do? That's what we're gonna cover in this video. So with all the increased awareness that hyperbaric is getting, we have a lot of people coming in, calling the office, calling the offices that we support or other clinics. Hey, there's nothing necessarily wrong with me. I heard hyperbaric might be good for me. I just wanna give it a try. I just wanna take it for a spin. I'd like to do a dive, but how many sessions do I actually need to do? So the real answer to that is, it depends on what goals you have. So even though you're healthy, you have no symptoms, you have no specific issues that you're trying to heal from, the benefits of hyperbaric are still gonna be cumulative. And so depending on what your goals are would determine ultimately how many sessions you should probably do. As a generic recommendation, I would still say you need to create a small protocol. Do you need 40 hours or 80 hours the way we would if somebody was, you know, had a serious issue that we were trying to help them with? No, but do we still need at least some cumulative sessions to really help them build up and actually have some type of response? I believe the answer is yes. If somebody came to me and said, listen, I'm gonna do 12 sessions in my whole life. Should I come every day for 12 days or should I come once a month for a year? I would say come every day for 12 days because that cumulative response is really going to create some cellular changes ultimately that most people are looking for. So some of the short-term benefits like in a session or two that we see, yeah, you'll get increased cellular energy and that might even feel like increased energy for you and your body. You could have an improved immune response, increased mitochondrial function, maybe a small decrease in inflammation. Those are things that can happen pretty quickly in like one to three sessions. But ultimately, most people that are even using it for, let's say, stem cells or overall recovery just from life or reduced stress, you still need that block of sessions to create some sort of change before you move into what would be considered more of like a, a maintenance type program. You should at least shoot for 10 sessions. That would be the absolute bare minimum. And in a lot of cases, I might have someone do three a week for two weeks, then two a week for two weeks to get that 10 within the month and then move them into more of a maintenance program. I might even have them do four in the first week and then three, and then three. If we're trying to get those 10 sessions done in three weeks, that would be more ideal. But you do need to create some program within the first three to four weeks at minimum in order to get at least some cumulative response to start changing some of those cell signaling factors that we're talking about for the real benefits of hyperbaric to kick in. From there, if somebody wanted to do once a week or twice a week or even twice a month, they could likely continue to maintain some of those benefits for a period of time. In other cases, people will take breaks. So they'll do 10 to 20 hours as an initial protocol, get a lot of those changes that they're looking for. And then let's say two to three times a year, do another 10 to 20 hour protocol. So there's two different ways to look at maintenance. Is it a small amount on a very regular basis? Or do you allow for a few months to go by and let's say do 10 to 20 hours every quarter throughout the year. I would say in my experience for me, I do more of those lump sums a few times a year with a few sessions interspersed. So I might do once or twice a month and then two to three times a year really, I do a 20 to 30 hour protocol to really create those big boosts for me throughout the year. I find that to be the most beneficial, but you know, the jury is still out. There's really no research to support exactly which of those mechanisms are the best as far as the wellness type patient, the wellness goals. So what I would say is once you do your initial protocol, give it a little bit of time, try a maintenance plan, and then try those little boosts throughout the year and see which one's working best for you and then continue it from there. I hope this is helpful for you. I hope you enjoy the content. I hope this video supplied the information that you were looking for. If you find it helpful, please click the like button, please subscribe, and absolutely please share this video with a friend that you think might find it helpful.